let's just linger a bit on Hertz. What a dynamite player. What an electric player. He is he is he is him too, man. I mean, he is yeah. terrific. And, you know, under the lights and the pressure, he crushed it. He absolutely crushed it. And, you know, AJ Brown and Devontae Smith are a terrific duo. I sure hope Kelsey sticks around, um, but it's easy for me to say. Uh, I, I, I'm just assuming what he puts in to play at this level and, and be who he still is, future Hall of Famer. It's, it's a lot. But what do you say uh, to Eagles fans about the future here? Because their, their coaching staff might be poached a bit in the next 24, 48. But what do you make of this, Chris? Yeah, for sure. I mean, like, um, th- it's kind of the end of an era, but – but the uh, but the show goes on in a way like because I feel like they're 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 you know they're kind of they're set at quarterback right Jalen Hurst was amazing the stuff that he did with his legs and his arm I mean but like in the red zone short yardage the two point conversion I thought was it just totally summed up what this guy's about you know what this team was about what he was about all year long and uh, I really wish we would have gotten to see him with a minute and 20 left on the clock trying to tie the game, mm-hmm. but it, it didn't go that way. The Eagles have to, you know, they have to contend with 10 free agent starters. You know, you, you mentioned Jason Kelsey, like what's going to happen with Fletcher Cox. You know, there's this group of guys that, that were on that 17 team that are really special. I mean, they're going to forever uh, go down in history as some of the most important people in Philly sports history, whether it's Brandon Graham, Fletcher Cox, Lane Johnson, uh, you know, Jason Kelsey, that core group, I just can't wrap my head around it for the last four or five years since I've been out of the game podcast and doing this type of stuff. They've been grinding to get back where we were in 2017 through 2019 to 2020 through, you know, the Carson stuff through the whole thing. Um, and to think that they were able to get back here, like I'm trying to think the way Kelsey would think, it's got to be a long, tiring run. And I hope that he doesn't make any rash decisions. I hope that nobody makes any rash decisions over the next day or two. Uh, because I can speak from experience. The only reason I came back in 2018 uh, was was the FOMO. You know, like just in case this team is back in this thing, I wouldn't be able to live with myself for the rest of my life if, uh, if, if I missed out on that thing. Um, so I think Kelsey... He's got a lot to think about. Mm-hmm. I think the team has a lot to think about. You know, Shane Steichen uh, is the Colts' next head coach. You know, Jonathan Gannon's going to be interviewing for positions. But I think there were some really great uh, offensive minds that worked with Jalen Hurts under Shane Steichen that are going to be just fine. Um, and 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 there, there's a lot of guys in that building that you don't know their names that are going to rise through the ranks and be uh, good coaches for that football team. So. I think it's just mainly about the 10 free agents. I think it's about roster construction. I think it's about, hey, do we pay C.J. Garner-Johnson? We obviously have to pay Jalen Hurts and that sort of thing. Howie Roseman's been a whiz at this. I think they'll be back. Uh, they have a lot to be proud of this year. They were a great football team. They just came up short. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku Channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free. 